like to talk, talk about the story that we start two and a half years. As we know, the pandemic is arrived and everything was stopped, right? But we start to talk about what will be after post-pandemic, how we can support our customers. So let's start and talk about what happened. So I change, you change, everybody change during this uh, pandemic year, right? So we was going to the school in one way, our children is going and learning in different way, right? We are buying in different way, we are taking a, me a medical healthcare differently, even the government, right, start to give us different uh, services. That's mean we change. We as a consum consumer, we as a customer have changed. That's mean what we want to do today to get the same experience that we are getting today everywhere. It's no matter if I am in the, my campus, at home, at coffee shop, okay? That's mean if our experience was changed, that's mean all of the, our customer need to change his mind to support the request of the end customers. In order to do that, every customer need to build a underlay, a technology that can bring them this kind of changing, okay? That's mean if customer was giving a service in physically, or the other was giving online, now we change everything become hybrid, right? We want to get a service immediately online or on site. So in order to give this kind of request, we as Extreme bring the technology in order to achieve all the needs of our customers. Okay, so what we build, what was our vision? So our vision is divided for three things, that how we build that. The infinity distribution at scale and consumer centrics. What does this mean? Infinity distribution, that means we are not any more limited to our campus or our data center or remote branch. Now we are everywhere. We want to use our devices, our user, our application for everywhere, right? That means we need one network that will be everywhere, okay? At scale, what that mean? The network is increasing, the services and application increasing, but you, as IT, you are not getting more people, right? The same people make it more. So what we need to do, we need to give ability to our IT staff, a technology, a visibility, what they can do, they can do that, it can be done by simplicity, by automation, and this is why we want to bring to our customers that handling this IT infrastructure more flexibility to do their, their job very fast and very efficiently. Consumer-centric, this is my favorite one, what that's mean? If the device, if the people, if the applications everywhere, I need to supply or on real time, eh, all the information that all my IT guys need. And not only to give them eh, the visibility and information, but give them the ability to do the change on the fly. If there is any lack of bandwidth, if there is any problem of the application, how we can do something in the network so the, in the end the application will be faster and the, our customer will get the right solution. This vision is, is fantastic, but let's see what can be the output of that, what we did in extreme. So our output is coming for three flavors, like one network, one cloud, one extreme. What does that mean? One network, our develop, our product manager, our engineering that developed this concept according to our vision, they built a one network that can be everywhere from data center, campus, remote branch, or in the coffee shop. We don't care. That means every engineering that working in the morning, they are not thinking now how I'm going and configure by CLI my data center, what type of switches I will put in the campus or in the remote site. They don't care about that anymore. What our engineering thinking, they are thinking about the application, about the devices, 
They want to configure in one single pane of glass everything. So what we can bring here from the networking point of view is a simple product that can be matched everywhere according to the use case. One cloud, what that mean? One cloud is one dashboard that our IT people will connect and when they configure from one single pane of glass, all the network is not matter everywhere. We are talking about network everywhere. So w this cloud can be everywhere. So our cloud is running on all the vendors, can be in Google, Azure, AWS. It can be in your way, the customer way. If the customer was to run as a SaaS, as a public uh, a cloud, or as a, pi pi as a private cloud, for example, a government or MOD, or if they want to install the management on site. So we give the, all the flexibility to our network to run the solution according to the needs or according to the policy that the organization is building. And one extreme, what that means, every partner needs a vendor. Every par customer needs a vendor. We as a vendor, we are thinking how we are bringing the outcome of the needs of our customers. How we are doing that? We are developing the right technology. We are giving the right cost. We are bringing the simplicity of the, of the licenses. We are bringing one operation system or couple of operation systems that can run on single SKU according to the needs of our customer. And we as extreme want to believe that we are the one extreme that can give you this kind of solution to the partners and the customers. So let's go deep dive a little bit about the theoretic is nice on the slide, but how we are doing that. So extreme start to develop three years back, and uh, this day we finished to refresh all the unified switches. What we did, we bring one box for example, if you have one mobile phone and we build us a unified, that means if a customer wants to run iOS, for example, he wants to run Apple operation system or Google operation system, he just put the operation system according to that. So what we did, we was the first vendor that developed unified hardware for access point and for switches that our customer can choose according to the use case what type of operation system to put inside. We bring, a, as, a, as a native inside the security stuff, with our fabric as a segmentation and steel network, part, part of, from our topology. And the last and not the least, the, the concept of instincts. What does that mean? How we are bring the life easy to our engineering. How to build very simple, the stacking, the fabric stacking, to do the onboarding, to the network. This is the, 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 the outcome that is coming from one network. What about one cloud? So uh, Extreme Solution is very unique, as I mentioned. We have uh, 21 data center around the world that are running on different vendors that can uh, bring the requirement of each of the customers that is needed. We also build some application on top of the cloud that we can supply to our customer free of charge, okay? And this management is one single glass to manage all the switches from campus, data center, branch. Is management will configure all the access point or is the one. And the, the security is the most important. We are the only vendor that we build our, our, our cloud solution from the ISO perspective. We are not depending on the cloud ISO certification. All our develop is done by our uh, develop that we are putting all the ISO certification, GDRP, uh, uh, SOX inside our application. Infinity distribution. So if we are talking about one network, so I can see here different uh, people, different style. One, uh, some people can say, okay, we are see what we saw in here. We are saw the data center, we saw the campus, we saw the edges, many type of switches, routers. Some of them we have firewalls. 
it is complicated, but the vision here that is not matter how big or small the network will be, how we are building is as a one network, okay? So I think that some people that is in this field can say, wow, this is very complex. I need to configure a lot of things. I need to manage, I need to do troubleshooting, right? No anymore. We don't need now to put some CCIE or HDP people that will do develop and scripting all the time. This is end. We are bringing the platform that will manage from central, as simple as automation, to our customers. And it's not a matter if we are connected to the data center or to the SaaS solution. Extreme, as I mentioned, we finished to refresh all our edges as a unified hardware. That means this fantastic solution that we are bringing a switch according to the needs of the customer, and he put the operation system according to the use case that he needs. If he needs security stuff and segmentation, he put one operation system, he needs other functionality, and features, he put another one. This is something that we show on the field that most of our customers, they like the solution, they like the uh, simplicity. If they want to change the use case, they just change the operation system, and they don't need to buy new switches, new APs is end. Extreme is the fourth vendor that brings the Wi-Fi 6E for the indoor and also outdoor. We also, with the Unifa hardware, bring the capability of multi-gig with all the Unifa hardware. That means if my customer want to put application that is need more bandwidth, he need fast uh, 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 links to outside, he want minimum latency, we as a company give you all the needs from the access, from the access point that connect the application to all the network across the data center to give you the flexibility and the right needs according the, of the application and not to bring something in the middle that is not fit uh, with the needs. So, so right now we have a branch, full uh, 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 portfolio from the wireless and wireless, for the studio, for healthcare, for manufacturers, for uh, MODs to bring all the new and the greatest uh, uh, hardware for the switches and wireless include all the security part of the management tool. What else what we did? As I mentioned, our mission is to give one user interface. As you know, Extreme bought before one half year, IP Panima is the SD1 solution. So what we did, we take the all day product we did a re refresh about everything and put that as part of the Extreme Cloud IQ. That means now the Extreme Cloud IQ is managing not only switches, not only access point, but also all the one in one pane of glass. That means if you have a circle line, MPLS, a HDH, 4G, 5G is not matter, we will bring you the right solution to give acceleration and compression and performance to your application according to the needs that each of the customer is requiring. Regarding the technology, as I mentioned, as you know, Extreme, we are celebrating 11 years with the Fabric Connect solution. And uh, this solution that when I was in the Avain as a CTO that was part of the develop, we bring this fantastic solution. It is bringing simplicity, segmentation and sales network. This network, until now, nobody success to hack the network. We are doing every year hackathon in Las Vegas, and who will success to hack the network will get 50,000 US dollar. But until now, nobody success to hack the network. So this uh, fabric is simplicity, is robust. You can do what you want to do. There is no limitation at all. Is, is more powerful than MPLS. For example, in my country, in Israel, most of the agencies, weapon company, army, most of them, when they want to build a secret network, they are using our fabric solution. We have a lot of airports and metro and smart cities, a, a seaports that using this, one, this type of uh, networking because 
of the simplicity, because of the security that we are bringing here. So this, not, this technology, technology can run on any small switches or biggest one. It's not matter. Everything is part of the operation system. You just need to turn on that. What about scaling in the cloud? So the, as I mentioned, our a, a cloud is configure everything from branch to data center. It's not matter. Even all our access point, all the controller one, the old one is part of the cloud solution. So we are bringing here something fantastic to our customer, include Copilot. Copilot is a machine learning AI efficiently that take all the data and give you visibility in real time. That means if you have 100 or 500 switches and all the logs that get inside to the, to the management system, it would be impossible to understand what is going on. So the co-pilot is taking and give you exactly what is going on. That means you have a person, IT person, that's sitting and checking on the lines and give you the output of the, what is going on inside the network. So what we are bringing here, we are bringing the full uh, 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 ability to run for all type of network, public cloud, on-site. We are bringing all the functionality, that means analytics, location, air defense. I, this is IDS, IDS IPS for the RF, free of charge. And our network is designed by security. Everything protected, everything is secure. And uh, regarding the, co the, the uh, consumer, this is something that I will ask Eyal. Uh, it will be better to see that and not talk about that because uh, uh, one of the worlds, uh, one movie can give us all the information. This is not working, but Eyal, if you can come and join and show them demo in live. I will introduce you with our um, mobile application for the cloud, what we can do with that. Usually, uh, customers are using this application mainly to onboard devices. Devices can be wireless access points or uh, wired switches. So I want to show you the easy of the way of to using these kinds of application. You need to log in. Login can be done by username and password, or you can log in by a fingerprint. Once you're authenticated, you can go and manage your cloud. Okay, and this is the main window of the application. For example, here you can see devices. If I click on these devices, you can see six out of seven are online. If I click on it, I can see all the devices that are currently managed in my cloud account. The green icon means they are online. For example, probably there is one which is disconnected. A clicking on specific AP. You can go and see exactly the information of the AP. You can change the name. You can see exactly uh, the serial number, the MAC address, which policy is assigned to this uh, access point, what is the location, which uh, OS version is running, and some more. Uh, in Device topology, you can see exactly what is, if you are running LLDP and some mechanism to uh, discover the network, you can see exactly how it's connected to the network. Here, in that case, it's just connected directly to the internet, but in case that it's cascaded with several switches, you could see all the switches. A device overview, clicking on device overview, you can get all the information about this specific access point, for example. What is the health of the network? Okay, you see the graph, what is the CPU overall, you can see the memory, and some additional information. We cannot go into details on every uh, parameter series, but for full demo, please come later on to our boot. I will, uh, it will be my honor, uh, honor to demonstrate for you. We can see also the wired interface. For example, here we can see that Ethernet uh, zero is uh, 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 broadcasting our SSIDs for the Wi-Fi. One of the things I want to show you is what is the way, fast way, how to onboard new switch or access point. So for example, I will use one of the box here. There is a barcode on every access point on every box. Please help me. So by clicking on a device on the top, 
I can click the serial number manually, or I can just scan the barcode. So clicking on the, on the barcode, okay? He asked me, do you want to onboard this serial number? Come on, it's not the time. And while I'm continue, I can tell to the to cloud, okay, I want to manage it directly into the cloud or uh, on-premise. Clicking on onboard, it will be added automatically to our device list. I can assign the location and the policy for my several profiles that already created in advance. I can select, for example, Macquay and done. Then the AP will be here. A clients, for example, we can see here all the clients. It could be both wired and wireless clients. So I can see exactly the information on each client. For example, my phone, it's called one plus, let's see if it's here, yeah. So you can see exactly what is the IP address that I got, what is the profile I'm using, on which SSID I am connecting, and if I want to go to a specific device that I'm connecting to, I can go to go to device and see exactly the device that I'm connected to. So there are a lot of options here. Uh, please come to our booth and see some more. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. This is uh, how we can uh, demonstrate the, the cloud of the speed. So we, are, we are talking about uh, uh, we can take a bunch of the switches or up APs and connect that to the, to the cloud. Uh, very fast, very intuitive. It can be handled by your uh, pad or, or mobile, op uh, mobile operator. So, okay, Sherban will talk about two use cases, about public and private uh, customers that are running our fabric with all the functionality. Two minutes, please pay attention about that. Sherban Pădureu este numele meu. Astăzi, uh, în numele Extreme Networks, în calitate de distribuitor Diamond, în România și la nivel mondial. Așa cum știți, sunt o mie de vorbe, dacă nu există și o exemplificare, e păcat. Din punctul acesta de vedere am ales două uh, exemplificări, unul din mediul, una din mediul privat, una din uh, mediul public. Uh, Continental este o companie cu un palmares cunoscut, 38 de miliarde Reveniu, multiple implementări, prima implementare de dimensiune mai mare făcută în afara Germaniei în România, cu aproximativ aproape 20.000 de angajați, din care în Sibiu sunt 4.500. Valoarea investiției a fost uh, extrem de mare, fiind una dintre investițiile strategice uh, și uh, au avut uh, de îndeplinit câteva criterii care erau uh, deosebite. Trebuiau să aibă o segmentare și o securizare a rețelei uh, superioară, uh, acest lucru fiind cerut atât de clienții lor cât și de standardele interne, Utilizarea protocolelor vechi de tip OSPF nu oferind suficiente rezultate. Din acest punct de vedere exista necesitatea și a unei automatizări și a unei administrări, a unui management care să fie superior și să permită utilizarea rețelei pentru a gestiona un număr foarte, foarte mare de clienți și de resurse de uh, tipuri de comunicare, atât la nivel de protocol, cât și la nivel al sistemului de transmisie a datelor. Din punctul acesta de vedere, acestea erau provocările care țineau atât de zona de automatizare, management și simplificarea rețelei, astfel încât ea să poată să fie operată cu un număr redus de administratori. Soluția adoptată a fost uh, Extreme Fabric, uh, care utilizează un protocol unic, uh, Short Species Bridge, protocol care permite alegerea celei mai scurte căi în cadrul unei rețele a cărei topologie este nedefinită. Din acest punct de vedere uh, avem flexibilitate, simplitate și mai mult decât atâta securitate implicit oferite, fiind o caracteristică nativă a rețelei. 
În plus, față de asta, trebuie menționat că au existat în acest caz niște cerințe deosebite din punctul de vedere al implementării. Implementarea trebuia să fie realizată trecându-se de la vechea rețea la noua rețea în 72 de ore. Rezultatul datorat acestui sistem de rețea a fost că implementarea s-a realizat în 24 de ore, restul de timp rămânând neutilizat, sau mai bine zis, a fost utilizat pentru a se verifica că totul a funcționat corespunzător și că la reluarea acestei ferestre de mentenanță programate a fost în timpul Paștelui, o să poată să reia activitatea fără niciun fel de pierdere. Fiind o unitate privată, se știe că în zona aceasta pierderile se cuantifică foarte clar într-o grămadă de bani. În plus, soluția așa cum este ea definită în acest moment are câteva beneficii suplimentare. Există posibilitatea de management utilizând aceeași interfață, atât din punct de vedere al comunicației cât și al securității. Există posibilitatea de a utiliza zona de network access control, astfel încât să poți controla foarte bine care este conectivitatea la nivelul clienților se poate defini prin soluția de analytics care este încărcarea, care sunt protocolele utilizate, care sunt clienții care se conectează, din ce zonă și către ce zonă. Mai mult decât atâta, rezultatele vorbesc de la sine, în momentul de față soluția este funcțională și în continuă dezvoltare. Trebuie menționat că în acest uh, proiect discutăm despre un campus care este uriaș cu două centre de dezvoltare și multiple hale care uh, sumarizează un număr foarte mare de clienți. Soluția de Network Access Control, care este implementată, uh, gestionează peste 7000 de uh, clienți Există automatizare care permite înregistrarea noilor echipamente, provizionarea automată a drepturilor de comunicare în rețeaua respectivă. Pentru că am discutat despre un client din zona privată, o să discutăm și despre un client din zona publică, a căror uh, provocări sunt similare, deși de o natură ușor diferită. Dacă în prima situație discutam despre un termen de implementare care să fie mai uh, scurt, în această situație discutăm de un termen de implementare care să fie uh, dispus pe o perioadă mai lungă, având însă nevoie de înlocuirea unor echipamente care au uneori în anumite situații și până la 15 ani vechime, fiind deja în afara perioadei de suport oferită de către vendor, mai mult decât atâta discutăm despre un număr mare de utilizatori și aici discutăm nu neapărat de numărul de persoane care sunt înregistrate în rețeaua respectivă, cât de numărul de echipamente pe care acele persoane le dețin și le utilizează în rețeaua Wi-Fi sau locală. Și aici se dorea aducerea la niște standarde de securitate, posibilitatea de management a acestei rețele, provocarea fiind, așa cum bine este cunoscut, suprafața uriașă a locației și faptul că accesul la echipamente nu poate să fie realizat la fel de ușor. Din acest punct de vedere a fost utilizat același tip de soluție, soluția Xtreme de la de soluția Fabric de la Xtreme, care a permis utilizarea echipamentelor de tip universal. Soluția de această dată înglobează atât platforma de switch-uri, cât și zona de wireless, oferind conectivitate pe întreaga suprafață. Segmentarea nativă permite zona de securizare, permite de asemenea și rerutarea în cazul în care apar există o problemă legată de fenomenul de buclă. În momentul în care o buclă apare, ea practic devine ca o alternativă, o cale alternativă pe care sistemul știe să o exploateze în mod automat. Beneficiile similare, un număr redus de persoane poate să administreze întreaga soluție cu vizibilitate totală asupra uh, implementării. 
pot să fie modificate structurile, crearea de noi servicii extrem, extrem de scurt, vizibilitate totală asupra funcționării rețelei. Cam atât, dacă există cumva întrebări, cu mare plăcere vă putem oferi mai multe informații la standul nostru. Mulțumim foarte mult!